Okay, so I'm in front of very nice looking building. It's probably not quite sure what it is, but it looks like it could be a museum um, from um, the fact that it is Balkan Wars 1912s to 1913s. Iporia Prostiniki. Is this the way to victory? Uh, not sure you, if you know the Greek. You have to tell me in the comments below if I'm talking a lot of rubbish, then uh, please tell me. I didn't spend a long time on it, on Greek, so I don't have very big vocabulary. Didn't even start to gold list yet, just listen to the Michel Thomas and a little bit. I read also some New Testament, but otherwise it's just general knowledge. You can know that Nikki is, is, a, is a victory because Veronica come from the term brings the victory, Ferenikos or Fereniki. So far I've had not much luck finding um, a proper Greek restaurant here in Athens. I found fast food joints and things like that, but so far I haven't come across a, a restaurant that would really interest me in going in and eating there. You know, I don't want to eat in Costa Coffee because I don't think it's very Greek, even though it may well be that the person working behind the bar might well be called Costas. But then he might be in London's one as well. So at this point, all you see along the whole thing, I suppose these would have been shops and restaurants, but uh, they all seem to be boarded up. That can't be right, can it? Surely they are not so frightened of the continual threat of demonstrations and things that they've boarded up absolutely everything. There seems to be a lot of things boarded up and very, very few things open. Platon, that's Plato by the way, to you and me, um, just goes to show how the Greeks do like to, to stretch into their, um, into their history to find names for things. Aesodos Grapheon or Grapheon rather. And most people are not, there's more people in cars than there are walking around, even though it's really nice weather for walking. Here's a nice big square. This is the sort of place you'd expect to find something to eat. I don't know whether I'll be successful, but uh, I still can't see anything. But maybe something will present itself. There are lights on over that end of the place. Well, I found a, a church. It's just interesting enough to want to come up and have a look at it, but when I came here, yeah, there's no sign. There's a place where signs used to be, but the signs are empty. They have nothing to say for themselves. The only thing, that, the only letters to read is the G4S, which is Group 4 Security, on the, on the alarm bell. And the swimming pool outside is empty. You won't go any baptising any babies in that. When it's empty, you need water. So, m much as it looks nice, it has nothing to say. And it reminds me a little bit of when I was in Finland. You can see that Finnish series on my channel. Um, going to Kerry Mackey and finding you know, nothing at all going on inside it. And no even mentions of when the services might be. And again, the other thing was that food was also difficult to get hold of. Restaurants and things 
as well in, in Finland when I was driving around. So that's two strange things that these nations at opposite ends of Europe have in common. I go to most places, you know, and it's churches everywhere and it's... Or if it's a, even if it's an Islamic place, it's places of worship everywhere. And it's... Uh, And it's um, restaurants all over the place, you can't get stirred for it. People begging you to come into the restaurant, standing outside saying, please come in my restaurant. And here you are, you're looking for the centre of the city, and everything's boarded up. And the churches have nothing to say, and there's no food. And right in this part here, there seems to be as much Chinese written everywhere um, as Greek or Latin. And uh, they're also not restaurants. So even what you might expect, I mean, believe you me, at this hour of the night you can get well fed in Beijing, very well fed. But not here. Here's funny, it's funny, Athens is funny. I'm sorry to tell you this, but Athens by night is funny. Maybe there'll be a different perspective during the day.